Hey guys, pretty good view there, huh? Um, first off, let me just get started. Uh, some of you guys know I used to race uh, remote control cars, right? There got to a point that I was just like, you know, I like racing, this is fun, but I'm not really in control. This isn't really what I always wanted to do. Right here, I'm on a little motorcycle. I wanted to race motorcycles. That's what I wanted to do. But last year, I finally got my start in BMX racing. Here's a little picture of the bike. Here's another one. That's my old bike. And here's my fourth place trophy. <laughs> fourth place out of four, but oh well. Um, so anyway, in 2024, this is going to be my brand new bike. It is a 2023 uh, Kink Cloud. Um, there's your little logo. <laughs> Got some pink ODI grips. And lots of other pink parts. Um, I haven't made a YouTube video in a while. Uh, I don't remember my style. Um... So, uh, this feels really weird to me. I need to go back and watch some of my older videos. Um, but I just wanted to make a quick video because I didn't make any last year with, uh, with the old bike. And I, that's something I regret. Um, so this year I just wanted to start off by showing off a little bit of the bike. A little bit of the work area for 2024. Got... The tool station right there. The trophy case. You know, got the picture book or whatever you call that. Fly racing gear. Fly racing helmet. Adidas 510 shoes. And my actual race number plate because, you know, I'm not number one yet. I will be though, one day. <laughs> I got my spare tires over here. Over here is just a bunch of miscellaneous junk. Um, this is because, you know, some of you may know about, I have lots of stuffed animals. This is Angel, um, which is why the skeleton's here, to protect Angel. So, she can stay and watch from a distance and not have any tools, um, hit her in the face by accident. Um, but, you know, I have lots of stuffed animals. Here, there's one of them. Um, you know, sometimes they need fixed. So, I got stuffing, got a sewing kit. Almost said machine. It's not a machine, obviously, but uh, oh well. Um, so I'm pretty pretty excited, and I'm ready to go for this season. I got finally got a you know a digital scale or a you know bathroom scale. Got everything over there cleaned, so I can once that dries, I can put that down. Get it, everything all set up. Um, a few things I do also want to get, which I probably won't get till next year. I want to get like a, it's called a sprint block. Uh, that'll just help with like sprint training, getting to that first, uh, first jump, first, uh, into the first straight, you know. And, um, also I'd like to get, uh, indoor trainer. Um, especially cause right now it's snowing outside. It's really cold. I don't want to take that bike out in that. Um, I did yesterday, but right now I also don't have brakes, uh, because brake cables are pretty easy, uh, to change. Um, but I decided to do something stupid. I cut the brake cable, which I think you have to have some kind of special cutters. Either that or mine aren't, just aren't strong enough. But anyway, the brake cable cut just fine, right? But then the brake cable housing, um... You know, that wouldn't cut, the uh, brake cable wouldn't go back in there. But, it's going to be pink, and then I got a pink chain on the way, and I got a new pink seat on the way, and then everything should be ready to go uh, once all that stuff's ready. Um, I just, I think this bike looks awesome. Uh, it's maybe not a proper race bike. But it's, it's the kind of style that I like. Um, I've always liked this style of bikes, really. It's just what I got into, and it's what I got used to, and it's I can't, I can't switch it up now. Um, the geometry of this bike, though, 
does look a little bit different when it's on the ground than my old, uh, my Kink Whip 2018 did. Um, this looks a lot more like a race bike than that bike ever did. Uh, you know, also that could just be because it has a proper number plate. I never put a proper number plate on that bike. I just put the cheap garbage that I made. Um, some of you might remember that. If not, I could probably link a video in the comments. But, just want to show off a little bit of, uh, getting started for 2024. Um, I'll show more in depth, obviously, of the bike, uh, whenever... Whenever it's finished, whenever it's ready uh, to hit the racetrack, you know, it's not even all put together yet, so I can't really, oh, here's this, 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 and this, and this, because then, you know, in a month, I'm going to basically do the exact same thing all over again, but yep, definitely got the ODI grips. Always got to have those. This has been my favorite since I started using them, and I like the pink ones. They look good, especially on, you know, I'm going for a black and pink color scheme, with a little bit, you know, got to have the zero one, you know, even on race day, out of the way, can't really see too much of it, there, I'm, you know, got my number here, gonna have my number here, um, I just got to get more kink BMX stickers, because there's one on the other side of here, that got covered up by the, uh, side plate, and then there's one here that got covered up by the, uh, lizard skin, so, obviously, I want to, you know, rep the brand that I started to like, you know, I, this is the first real BMX bike I've had was my, uh, 2018 kink whip. And, um, just getting into that, it just felt so much different. Uh, I was so used to like Walmart mongooses and stuff. Uh, you know, getting into that 2018 kink whip, it just felt so much better and it lasted me a long, long time. That bike's still riding around. I uh, can't say the same about any of those mongooses. They, you know, they fell apart. And it's cheaper to just buy a new one than fix them at that point. But, hey, it is what it is. They're, they're good bikes for their purpose, I think. But, uh, you know, don't mean to trash on them. But I was just so glad when I finally got into my 2018 Kink Whip. I loved that bike. And... I'd, I'd still have it, but I decided to sell it, uh, when I crashed my car, um, I was trying to get some of the money together to get my car fixed, and, you know, I regret that now, so on, it's the day that it was one year since I bought, since I sold that bike, I bought this one, and honestly, I'm glad, because this bike is a lot lighter, it's better frame geometry, I mean, you know, you have 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. You have five years of advancements um, and obviously a little bit higher price range. So that bike was in the $500 price range thereabout. This one's about the $750 price range thereabout. So it's a, you know, higher quality bike, you know, all around. So, so overall, you know, glad... Glad to, uh, glad to have this bike, for sure. Um, still wish I didn't sell my old bike. I'd, I'd have it probably sitting right over there. Um, I still hope one day to buy it back from them. I'm glad they're taking care of it, though. That's all I can say. And if y'all are watching this, hey guys, take care of my old general for me. But, uh, yep, yeah, that's about it for this video. Um... Just got some tools and parts in there and tools and parts over there and obviously my nice new scale and say goodnight to Angel. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching and I look forward to a nice 2024 season and hopefully I can make some more videos for you because like I said that's one thing I really regret, regret, really regret uh, not doing last year is I just didn't make uh, enough YouTube videos. Um, with the BMX bike, I was, I was just trying to learn and, you know, get into it, honestly. Also, I got a charger over there because, uh, plan to spend a lot of time here. So, um, gotta have my phone charger because, you know, I use an iPhone. Dies quick. <laughs> but other than that, I really appreciate you guys watching this video and good night.